Netflix's new drama limited series Painkiller is a fictionalized retelling of the origins and aftermath of the opioid crisis in America. Inspired by true events and people, the series follows the victims and perpetrators whose lives have been altered by Purdue Pharma, the business behind OxyContin. Let's take a look. All of human behavior is essentially comprised of two things. Run from pain, run toward pleasure. Pain, pleasure, pain, pleasure. If we place ourselves right there between pain and pleasure, we will never have to worry about money again. Joining us now is director and executive producer of Painkiller, Peter Berg. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, Peter. Thank you for having me. You know, the opioid crisis is a sensitive, personal topic for so many families. So I just want to start with what motivated you to bring this story to the screen? Um, so a friend of mine, Eric Newman, who kind of was executive producer and who started organizing this story, came to me and asked me if I wanted to do something about Oxycontin and opioids. And I thought about it, and I, I started counting the people that, that I knew that have died from opioids. And I quickly got off both hands. I knew more than 10 people, and I started thinking about the amount of people I knew that have died. And so I feel like I, I have so much direct connection to opioids. I'm sure you know people. If you don't, you know people who do. And it was something I felt very strong about. Well, and, and Painkiller is looking at this from several perspectives, right? The top executives of these pharmaceutical companies to those sales reps, kind of the everyday people. So. Talk about the decision to feature those different stories and then how do you balance that right. to be accurate? Well, so, so the opioid epidemic is a very complex web that, you know, is really fueled by, in this case, Purdue Pharma, the company that made Oxycontin, and the Sackler brothers, Richard Sackler in particular, who is sort of the mastermind behind the entire um, project. And we wanted to make sure that in addition to showing people getting addicted to the drugs and showing people from the Department of Justice trying to figure out how to prosecute it, that we really made sure that people got to look at how a big pharma company was able to you know, get heroin into the hands of hundreds of thousands. Let's take another look at Painkiller and get into that more. Okay. You will be convincing doctors to take pain seriously. Oh, oh. Oxycontin is the one to start with and the one to stay with. The more you prescribe, the more you'll help. It is now the number one opioid in the country. This drug is permeating every part of our community. What kind of research do you have to do to get into those stories right. and to feel like you're doing this justice to people who are watching? all of us who know someone affected by the crisis. Um, so, so doing research about the Sackler family is actually quite difficult. So in the case of um, Painkiller, we relied on a book called Painkiller written by a very talented journalist, author, a gentleman named Barry Meyer, who spent decades studying the, um, the Sacklers and the opioid crisis. And that book gave, gave us a lot of information um, and then talking to folks at the Department of Justice who tried to prosecute them um, and spending time with families of uh, children who have died of Oxycontin overdoses, um, as well as you know, our lead actor, Taylor Kitsch, or one of our leads. Uh, his sister, he's, he's very public about this, battled a very intense Oxycontin uh, addiction for six years. She beat it, thankfully, and she was on set every day, kind of keeping an eye on me. Did you feel like there was a connection on set because of those personal ties? I, I, I think so. And, and one of the things I found interesting about shooting <clears throat> Painkiller, we were up in Toronto for four months filming, and rarely a day went by when a crew member wouldn't kind of wait for a quiet moment, take me aside and say, hey, you know, I just want to let you know my, my, my nephew died of Oxycontin. My, my mother-in-law is addicted to Oxycontin. Um, everyone had a story. And if it wasn't a personal story about, you know, that they actually had taken it or someone in their immediate family had, they know someone who has. Um, it's, a, it's a real epidemic. Peter, thank you so much for joining us. Painkiller is now streaming on Netflix.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.